Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox and White. So in this video we're gonna learn how to implement gestures inside a cycler view using Kotlin as the backend language, right? So let me just give you a brief demonstration of what we're gonna get by the end of this video. If you can see on my mobile screen, we have this recycler view. If I just swipe left any item, you can see now this particular item has been deleted from the list right so now if i swipe any item to the right side you can see this green color below the item and the archive sign so if i just go to the bottom of the screen this particular item has been archived and been moved to the end of the recycler view right so let us do that with the this item you can see this particular item has been moved at the end of the list and if we swipe left that particular item is being deleted from the list right so if you want to implement the same to your application and want to learn how to do this then make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so let's start with this so we have this recycler view we have the implementation of recycler view we have the adapter for this so if you are a beginner and you do not know how to implement the recycler view already have a video on this which i have implemented this recycler view right you can watch this video by clicking on this i button and if you have this implementation then you're good to go so for, uh, the first thing we want to do is we will go to our adapter class as i've shown you earlier that when we swipe left we delete the item and when we swipe right the item moves to the end of the list so to implement that we need to create two methods inside this adapter class so let me create those methods so the very first one will be delete item and now this will take the position of the item that we want to delete right so now we got the position so to delete the item we have this array list that is news list right and we'll use dot remove and pass the index and after that we'll call notify data set changed and to add the item we'll create this method now this will take two arguments the very first one will be the index where we want to add the item and the second one will be the item itself so for that we'll use news list dot add will pass the index and the item will call notify data set changed yes this should be capital now to implement these gestures we need to create a new class right so let me create a new Kotlin class i'll just name it as swipe gesture now this class will implement another class that is item touch helper dot simple callback and now the constructor of this will take two arguments the very first one is drag direction so you do not want to implementation the vertical dragging of the items right so for the second argument will pass item touch helper dot left and we also want the right swipe as well so or item touch helper dot right right so now we need to override certain methods so we'll override both these two methods right so inside this we'll just return false and we'll do the implementation of this on swipe afterwards so that is all we need to do here now let us go to the main activity the backend activity of the cycler view so below this where we have created the adapter and i guess one more thing we need to do is 
abstract plus right now we'll go to the main activity so swipe gesture is equal to object of swipe gesture and inside this will override on swipe right will override this method so we'll use the win condition and we'll pass the direction here so basically inside this variable we'll get the direction if the user has swiped left or right so for that we'll use item touch helper dot left so if the user has swiped left we need to place it inside these parentheses and the second one will be item touch helper dot right okay now if the user has swiped left what we want to do is adapter will call the delete item method and will pass the position view holder dot adapter position right that is all we need to do if the user swipes left right now if the user swipe right the very first thing we'll do is we'll save the item inside this variable so new array list and view holder dot adapter position now we have got the item inside this reference variable right now the second thing is we'll delete that particular item so adapter dot delete item and we'll pass the position now we again want to add this item but at the end of the list right so adapter dot add item so the very first argument will be the position where we want to add the item so we'll pass new rls dot size because we want to add it at the end of the list and the second thing will be this archive item right so that is all that is all we need to do to implement these features but to add one more feature that is when we swipe left or right if we swipe left there is at the bottom there is a red color the background color turns to red and if we swipe right the color turns to green and we have those icons which defines that you are going to delete this item or you are going to archive that item so for that we will be using a library external library so let me just show you so this this one this library we need to implement i already have this library inside my build.grade lab module i'll provide the link for this library in the description below you can just go there and copy this library and paste it here inside your build.gradle file right now let us go to this swipe gesture class right now if you just go to the link that i have provided for the library we'll go to this github page right so if you just scroll down you need to copy this patch and here let me just delete this method we do not need this method and instead we'll implement on child draw right so now inside this method paste that particular patch so here you can see we have got the patch here so the very first thing this particular class will take the context as an argument now let us just uh, declare two colors for light left swipe and right swipe so delete color let me just quickly do this okay one thing worth noticing is that so when you write this you'll get this implementation here just make sure you delete this it is a big trouble so just delete that now continue
okay basically we have got two colors the delete color and the archive color so let me just implement this press alt enter create color source delete color click here and we'll just give it a random red color and for the archive color we'll implement a green color here let me get this color and we need two icons that we want to show when the user uh, swipes left or right so i have those inside my drawable so this one is the delete icon right and this one is the archive icon now we'll be using all these four items inside here so let me just delete this and i'll set add swipe left background color and we'll pass the delete color here add left swipe left icon and we'll use the delete icon swipe right background color so that is all we need to do to implement this background implementation so let me just go to the main activity i guess we need to pass the context here okay we need to pass the context so let me just lead this super method and below here okay we have got the item touch helper object and we have passed this swipe gesture here and then we have attached our recycler view the recycler view that we have in our activity to this object right so that is all we need to do to implement this feature so let me just install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just swipe left any one of the items so you can see the items are getting deleted now if i just swipe right the particular item has been archived and moved to the end of the screen so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code in case you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to this channel and has not subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for seeing the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see you in another video bye